Hello again everyone. This video is going to be a comparison showing the differences between two Crossway ESV Bibles. Hope you enjoy. Here are the two Bibles we're going to compare. On the top is the Heirloom Thin Line. On the bottom is the Premium Thin Line. Now the Premium Thin Line is one of the newer productions after Crossway has moved some of their premium Bible production from the Netherlands into China. So let's see how they did. Hey guys, do me a favor and scroll down and hit subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. If you enjoy premium Bibles, you'll enjoy this channel. Now, back to the comparison. So we're going to be comparing the premium thin line from Crossway, new, uh, new production just released with the heirloom thin line from Crossway. But you can see the definition of the grain and the definition of the ribs are very different. You can also see that they're two different color or two different shades of black. Both of these are black goat skin, but it seems like the young blood edition is going to have a more of a, a dark black, if that makes sense. The um, Chinese printed and bound edition is also black, but it's going to have more, it's a little lighter tone of black. You see on the young blood edition, the ribs go all the way to the edge of the spine. Well, on this edition, the premium thin line, the, the ribs are cut short. So you typically have to add length to your ribs for the hinge, the, both the front hinge and back hinge. Uh, they were about an eighth of an inch short on these ribs. The uh, premium thin line is thicker than the heirloom. It is a thicker Bible. It's a bigger Bible. You see, it's, it's a good bit wider than the heirloom. It's a little bit taller than the heirloom. So they're, they're really not uh, that similar, even though they're named, uh, their names would, uh, would suggest that they are very similar. In size, they're, they're not. You can see the yap on the Young Blood Bound Edition is very minimal. You see the, uh, the block is it's sitting on the gilt line. The edge of the block is sitting on the gilt line there where this edition has at least a quarter of an inch or maybe three sixteenths of an inch more yap. And this, this one's actually very close to being a full yap where the, the heirloom thin line is not. And I would say that that, that actually is worth a, a great deal of value when we're talking about appraising the, uh, the value when comparing these two. Now this one, uh, the heirloom thin line, uh, they're going to sell 120, 130, 140 range all day long. Sometimes you'll catch them on sale in the 110, $100 range, uh, but they're really, really high quality on par with RL Allen or uh, Schuyler Bible. Uh, but the big question was, uh, will the Chinese produce printed and bound editions even be competitive with the heirloom series and i would say yes they are competitive starting with this this grain of goat skin is a nicer grain than even was on the the preaching bible 
this is uh, the, the most grainy Chinese goat skin that I have seen and it is very comparable. You can tell by the feel it's not the same goat skin, but it is very nice. And having that full yap or very close to a full yap is a huge advantage for the premium thin line, especially for those of us who love having a yappy Bible. And I do. The next thing I want to show you guys are, are kind of the trimmings. The Youngblood Printed and Bound Edition is beautifully gilded. And the art gilding is a, a nice salmon color, very even, uh, really nicely done. Youngblood always does a really great job. It has the gold and black head and tail bands with two of these little flim flam ribbons. Uh, and let's take a look at the uh, premium thin line, the multicolored head headband, the uh, golden black it has two ribbons. They're a little nicer than the uh, than the ones from Youngblood, which that's so crazy that uh, such a nice <laughs> binder uh, puts such. Uh, and I know that's not their call; that's Crossway's call. But uh, anyway, uh, these are nicer head and tail bands comparable. The gilding just as nice in my opinion it's just as nice and you can see that signature stacking that is a, I love that look I love the signature stacking uh, it, it just looks really nice to me uh, the art gilt is a really light it's a darker red like as far as the tinting it's more of a red art gilt but it is very faint all right, so now let's take a look at the inside of these editions, and I'll open to a common page for us to examine. All right, and here we are at um, page 520 in the heirloom uh, thin line as well as the premium thin line and uh, both of these have the same pagination neither of these have uh, references it's the same exact text layout page for page so the only difference will be the paper and uh, the print size I want you to see this because uh, just to to help you understand the ghosting is better on the premium thin line. There's more ghosting with this 28 GSM paper than there is with this paper in the premium thin line. And I believe the premium thin line is the 36 GSM paper. But you can see a, a really good representation of the art gilt there. When we look at both of these, uh, it appears that the uh, the Premium thin line has less ghosting than the heirloom thin line. Not by much. It's not. A, it's not a lot, lot better, but it is better. And the heirloom thin line is an eight-point font, while the premium thin line is an eight-point-five point font, eight and a half font. While we have a little bit smaller text, you have a little more ghosting, a little less ghosting, a little larger print. So it seems that the premium thin line will be a little bit better uh, for readability. The trade-off is the portability of the heirloom and the construction materials are a little bit better uh, and it's a young blood printed and bound Bible. Even though they're very different, other than the pagination, the layout is the same. Uh, the construction, the materials are very different. Uh, I think they compare really well. Now, the heirloom thin line wins in some categories uh, when we're talking about the cover quality and we're talking about the uh, thinness and the portability. Uh, a, a lot of the trimmings, it, it wins. It definitely wins. But with the premium thin line, when we look at the, uh, the affordability, which is, these are going to be more affordable than the heirloom thin lines. Uh, look at the affordability. We look at the quality of the goat skin. We look at the uh, the yap size. We look at the, the page density. 
we look at the the le slightly less amount of ghosting uh, it's a slightly wider paper as well and you have a little bit better ribbons there's there's several things where the premium thin line wins out things that I find deficient like the the rib length that's going to be corrected uh, now the spine needs more reinforcement on the Chinese bound you can see how the, the ghost skin kind of bubbles up between the ribs you're not going to have that issue as much with the uh, with the uh, young blood printed bound because there is more substantial reinforcement under that spine now this is a lower this looks like a split calf skin liner where uh, the the uh, heirloom edition this is a uh, calf skin it's like a top grain calf skin liner so it's going to have a little more uh, rigidity to it but it's also going to last a little bit longer than a split leather there again you have a few differences in uh, in materials uh, a little bit higher quality materials in the young blood print and bound editions but if you can live with those uh, discrepancies then you'll probably find that you really like the premium thin line and for me the the kicker is the yap so i'm just really happy that they they went with a uh, a larger yap i think that's a big deal in the industry today but that's about all i can really show you guys if you have any other questions please leave them in the comment section i'll be happy to answer them or if you have any other video ideas where you want to see the premium thin line compared to other bibles i'd be happy to do that as well just leave it in the comment section also, uh, don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. And really, that's about it for today. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.